Hi, so today we will be talking about ADB or Android Debug Bridge. Uh, if you are a developer or an app, de app designer or you work with Android, you probably heard about this. It's a very common thing to use on Android. Now, if you are a daily user and you have just heard this, then let me explain. ADB is a tool that helps you connect your computer with your device. Now, your device can be controlled and used from your computer. You don't have to do everything on your phone. Now, let's say you are designing an app and you want to test it. And you don't want to test it in a virtual environment. You want to have a live phone experience. So then what do you do? There are two ways. One, you can just compile the code and make it an app then transfer it to your phone, then install it, or you can just compile the code and do it via ADB. You can also transfer files with ADB and there are many cool things you can do with ADB if you learn it. But it's not for everyone. So if you're one of those person who wants to experiment and you know learn about new things, please be my guest. And if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this. Now, ADB is a very simple thing to do and it's mostly it comes with the Android platform tools or Android studio some of you may heard of it but you can get ADB standalone or only the ADB portion of that software so today we will be seeing how we can do that so the first thing we have to do is hop into our machine now remember this is the windows way the Linux way is much easier than this. Open Chrome or any browser you prefer and you can search ADB XDA. Now, there are other mirrors for this but I like to use the XDA version because it's just convenient. Then go to this link, I'll link it down below. Then scroll down. Once you scroll down, you should see some download links. There are different versions of it. I would recommend the latest one because it comes with a lot of things. Just click on this and it should automatically download. Now let's wait for it. It's not much of a big file, it's a very small file, my internet just sucks. Once it's done downloading. Close this and open the folder where it has downloaded. Now if you use the default download path it should be in the downloads one but if you didn't it should be wherever you put it. But then get to the folder where you have it downloaded. It should have a file name of this ADB setup. Now what you have to do is just extract it. You can use WinRAR 7zip or whatever you like. It's up to you. You can even use the Windows default one but I don't recommend it. I like to use 7 because it's just simple. Now once it's done extracted, you should see something like this. Just double click on it. Let's go. And we should see a page like this. Once you do, just click Y, Shift Y, then and again Y, Y again. And it should install the drivers necessary to run ADB. Then just hit install. Just finish. There. You have successfully installed ADB in your system. Now let's check if it works. Hit Ctrl R and it should bring out the run menu, then CMD and just type ADB. You will see this bunch of code. Here your ADB is successfully installed and if it's not it will say ADB is not recognized as an internal external command. Now what you need to do on your device is just go to settings. After you do that scroll down about here go to about phone and you should see something called build number or build ID. Now I am using a custom room but it should be the same then click on the build number about seven, six or seven times 
then you should have something called developer option go in there and just open check the usb debugging option now it is different for different types of devices in custom rom it says android debugging but you have usb debugging they're basically the same thing just make sure usb debugging is allowed now connect your device to your pc and once you do that you should immediately get a prompt about some permissions but if you don't then you just need to hop onto your computer and just make your computer see what you are trying to do. You can type ADV devices and it will just check for devices that is connected in your PC. Just type ADV devices and then it should start some demos or the server that you need. Once you do that, there you have your device connected. If you see that, that means your ADB is working properly.